Hi there, this is Aaron um, and I'm here with a video which is a, a new proof um, of the, the, flat, the impossibility of the Sphere Earth uh, model which is pushed on us all. Um, obviously there are lots of ways to prove uh, that the, uh, the surface of the Earth has no curvature and is flat but what's unusual about this one is um, this is really, you could describe this as a glitch in the matrix um, because what I've found is that actually there are events in history um, which um, have been somewhat covered up it seems because they don't really fit with the uh, with the sphere earth model so these events that I'm talking about are radio broadcasts if you um, if you look back through the history of radio um, obviously radio goes back far before the time that we're told there were satellites and all sorts of other things in fact they go back to valve technology broadcasts are made from masts and if you have a single mast broadcasting at any point on the globe on the earth should we say if obviously it was a globe imagine a single mast broadcasting electromagnetic radiation travels in straight lines the the mast would not be able to broadcast around the curvature of the earth now if you look at uh, if you talk to shills and so on at, about radio then they will and you say to them how how is it these radio broadcasts have reached you know all this way around the world they will try and tell you that there's relays all over the place um, however back in the early part of the 20th century no such thing existed when radio was first used um, there were broadcasts done which are impossible in the sphere earth model and the uh, the powers that be have tried to suppress knowledge of this so um, if you were to go to the Wikipedia page, for example, on the history of radio broadcasting, you wouldn't see anything suspicious. Um, if you try to look back at the early history of the British um, public broadcasts, which were known as the Empire Service, you won't really be able to find any details because um, there are people that have been working quite hard to put all this down a memory hole. The Empire Service was um, the precursor to what's now known as the BBC World Service. And the Empire Service was broadcast from the UK and was broadcast to the entire British Empire. Now, the British Empire, um, in order to reach all parts of the British Empire broadcasting from London, you are broadcasting across the entire known world. This is impossible unless the world is uh, flat, essentially, because how would any mast be able to transmit around significant parts of the curvature of the earth it's completely impossible so the empire service was in fact proving by its very existence um, that the sphere is impossible however it's very difficult to find details on this so i've been looking for some time um, hunting around for proof that these broadcasts were made uh, proof which is not which is uh, still actually available in the public domain and I finally found some interesting proof when I came across a documentary from 1953. Now this documentary was about transistors, um, about how the invention of transistors was going to change everything, which of course it did. Um, and in one part of the documentary, um, it starts talking about uh, broadcasts that were made from Arlington, Virginia in 1915. Um, now these were made from a, a set of masts and these radio broadcasts were picked up in Paris and Hawaii according to um, this uh, this documentary um, which is produced by various firms including I think General Electric um, and this documentary in 1953 they must have realized um, after that that this is one of the items they'd better um, they, they'd better hide away because it's only recently that this 1953 documentary has been re-released and is available so I was watching this documentary and sure enough it started talking about these broadcasts and actually put up um, a, a little graphic map which I've uh, snapshotted <coughs> and um, so you can see that they're claiming that these broadcasts were made in Arlington Virginia were picked up in Paris and Hawaii significant distances around the curved surface of the earth um, and unless someone has a way to explain um, how these signals somehow reach their destination. I mean, 
no doubt shills will start talking about freak atmospheric um, phenomena and of weather conditions and God knows what. But actually, if you look at the history of these uh, ideas um, that the that the atmosphere can interact with uh, with with EM uh, radiation, you'll see that those ideas were born um, after uh, all of this, probably as a way to um, to patch up the fact that it's completely impossible. Now, I don't think anyone has ever produced any evidence um, that radio waves, um, which you send up into the atmosphere, are going to get bounced down around. Um, around the world, around the sphere of the world, uh, what are they going to bounce off and how does that work and what is the evidence that there's any way for this to occur? It's just ridiculous. So I'm afraid um, they screwed up. Um, they screwed up by, uh, by being too proud of their worldwide transmissions, making a big song and dance about it and then only too late realising that they just proved that the world is not a sphere. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I, um, I've given this info to, uh, to various other people in the Flat Earth Movement today um, and hopefully they will be breaking this out as an additional uh, killer proof. So um, yeah, so I hope that helps. Take care.